calendar. Let's have a look at the calendar feature or the calendar page for Mobimatic apps. Click on it and add the calendar to our pages or to our application. You can see it sits there under uh, your pages. And now let's do the settings. First thing we can change is the icon. I don't think we should, but you can change the icon for the calendar should you wish to. And then you can also change the name. So let's change it to my calendar. It's activated. We've activated social sharing on it. And now let's, let's add our calendar. There's three ways to add a calendar to the Mobimatic apps. The first one is your iCal. That is your iCloud calendar. Um, first, let's give our calendar a title, iCal, and then the calendar's URL. So to find the calendar's URL, what you are going to do is you're going to go to your iCalendar, click on the calendar that you want to share, right click on it and press share calendar once you've done that you're just going to tick the public calendar and you will find a url that's the url you're going to copy and take and paste right in there and there you go there's your icalendars url once you press ok it will go into your application Let's go back and have a look at the other one. The other one we can use is our Facebook calendar. To use our Facebook calendar, what we're going to do is we need our Facebook page ID. Let's go to our Facebook page. If you go to your Facebook page and you go to the about on the left over here and scroll down, you will find your Facebook page ID at the bottom over there. You will copy that and paste it into there and that is your facebook page id so when you press ok your facebook calendar will show up under my calendar let's look at the last option custom page now this is if you don't want to share your iCalendar or your facebook calendar through the app and you just want to create custom events on calendar for your users you can do a custom calendar Okay, you've created your custom calendar, but obviously there's no event, so you have to create each event separately on its own. So just click on it, event. We're going to give our event a title, my event, a subtitle, big body. We're going to do a description. We're going to select a beginning date, Sunday the 6th of November, and we're going to select an end date, Monday the 7th of November. We can put a time in, 10.30 a.m., and we can put an address, my place. We can put a location in there, label it, it will be here. Now, to do a location, we need a location URL. To get a location URL, you'll just go into Google Maps, pick the location, and then on the left-hand side here, you will see it says Share. Go into Share, and there's your Share link. There's your location. So, we'll just use that. Put it in over here. And that's our location. RSVP URL. The RSVP URL is if you are using an event planning website like my events or one of those what they will do is you can set up your event there and you will get a url where people can go and rsvp to the event you can then copy that in here ticket shop url that's the same if you're using an online ticket sales setup so in other words you're selling tickets for your event and you're using one of the online services like show clicks or one of these guys to sell your tickets you can put the ticket shop url in here so if people are interested they click on that they will immediately go directly to your ticket shop you can add a website our site where you put your url in 
you can actually add more than one website. You can also add a picture. And there you go. You've got your event set up. Just press OK. And as you can see, your event now shows up in our live view over here. If you click on it, you will see my event. It's a big party from when it will start, entrance, location, until what time, description. Um, it will give you the address. Obviously, we can't click on it right now because it's not live yet in our app. And you have your website. So there's all the information on your event. That's a custom made event. You can create more than one custom event for your calendar. And that is your calendar function. So to recap, you can use three different calendars, your iCalendar, your Facebook calendar, or a custom calendar to create an events calendar on your app where users can stay in, to, in touch with your events and what is happening. Cheers.